good morning to the session today project and digital inclusion in india opportunity and challenges first of all i thanks to mr professor hari krishna misra and uh, of dais and own daises for my top persons uh, once again thanks to i had the opportunity to listen to sri nandan nilkani the chairman iniki identification authority of india in many ways udi is critically unique in many ways first i enthused a participationer and entrepreneur like sri ilkani to head the project overlooking the bureaucratic systems in place in india scenario second it aims to manage the basic identity of indian population the most populated and largest democratic nation in the world and third most importantly the project is going to face unique challenges for unification to technical and social architecture a critical analysis of his approach to the issue related to identity management reveals enormous challenges to related to scale reach and technology despite having opportunities to has and utilize let us talk about the challenges for these three dimensions of identity management the scale means inclusion of every indian resident in the process and universal identity should be available independent of place to time and role that person plays in the society it means an entire population esteemed to be 1.2 billion have a phenomenal growth rate need to be brought into the adv- ability to the project mobility of persons in the country UD allotted to the individual probability will eventually bring in an enhanced problems of authentication since it may involve multiple backend infrastructures process actors to interact integrate and interface seamlessly it also means that point of access to services through UDI is the most challenges expect the project given in the scale udi aims to refrain from providing a code but would be issues a letter to the individual resident maintaining to the udi numbers which will be automatically generated during registration this however does not restrict the central repository of udi database to provide access to authentication thus there are an inherent and challenges to such central respiratory management as regards reach udi project is not free from challenges like any other project schemes that indian government has attempted to manage through its life cycle this project is born to have all dimensions of challenges including social political administrative and business in indian context we are quite experienced in negotiations divided across all these dimensions these or this eda project aims to tackle another divide named and identity divide besides all the forced 
divides this identity is divine to all largely influenced by this reach at the grassroots level which may include seamless inclusion of services of the point to uh, access with the larger life cycle national e governance plan negp has provided the core network and distribution layers in nep negp services adequately managed whereas the access layers is it stabilized because of the poor reach these access layers largely included citizens of different needs capacity and capabilities and power to access the point of services there are various similar soils formed by intervention agency including government and non government and funding agencies this is challenges is enormous to provide reach simply as partly put it in mr scani and challenges of reach can perhaps to be best addressed through udi provided its offer large mobility and interoperability will maintaining the unique identity of these persons in the entire transaction life cycle magnitude of these challenges has increased many manifold because of this fact of the identity would be provided to indian citizen and other persons who reside in india who many include a national of their countries the third dimension is related to technology in indian development paradigm in particular role of information and communication technology ICT has hypothesized that the identity with fall will soils remain perfectly disjoined in the efforts of ICT driven development projects it means that though there is no dreet in ITC driven pilot project for development and tool for showcasing strength of emerging technologies which could be channelized and channelized for development projects do not bring this desired result to dining scale up thus there are loads need for putting those learning together for common cas perhaps edi can provide this platform for universal and seamless access to these soils an indian contact opportunities to tackle such as a task does exist in various forms the first and foremost opportunity to leverage is the political will it is uh, interesting to note that a concept uid mooted by bjp government has clear mandated from the succeeding upa government a survey done by uida indicates anonymous agreement across entity political and bureaucratic spectrum to implement this uid project the appointment tan and ponerer of professional with experience to lead the technology driven organization and scale up its reach like steel lakoni also indicate the senior seriousness and government to leverage the expertise available from implementing technology centric project aiming to unification secondly an indian e governance system is or quite experienced as on date having completed many technology driven national level mission mode project mmps including any gp nrega pan card systems driving license national knowledge network and mca 21 thus the need of our leverages experience learned to take is forward the specific focus on digital inclusion and indian is particularly there is in a uh, relentless at and hours to the address all dimension of digital divide through creation of in information infrastructures and implementing the citizen centric e services oriented project we are now capitalized these efforts to create digital opportunities of a foster digital inclusion newness of digital inclusion in india perhaps will be better uh, operated through 
a discourse on existing scenarios digital divide is still valuable despite to the fact that we really had intact common services centers csc across most of the state under ne gp with the various backended services e grams in many states in some states e grams and csc are jointly available in the same village and village resource center etc this affords us unboundability and created and digital opportunity and this effort has undoubtedly created a digital opportunity but one needs to access whether this has to have factored and to digital inclusion digital inclusion will perhaps to better understood in term of inclusion all individuals who still struggle for having the right opportunity at the right time one of the primary object of the removing digital divide this major segment of populations in india it is still ray of usefulness and visibility of the digital opportunity being created udi project may have to look at this opportunity closely will attempting to unify the identity oriented services a clock look at the udi project indicates the 1n architecture could be the central theme of project it's i suggest it suggested unifications would be happen centrally to maintain identity of indian resident and who take care all automatic transaction these transaction could be also mean sufficient care taken to ensure seamless mobility and inter operability transaction owners perhaps the learning is derived from projects already executed with the questions like online banking and mca 21 reuse of architectures is not a new phenomena and it is absolutely essential the proposed architecture show that basic services oriented database would be used to access and their integrate would be retained the biometric standards committee has recommended a standard for creating identity with a de duplication exercise for the indian resident a demographic data standard and verification procedures committee with the former central vigilance commissioner sri n vital as it is chairman has already recommended de duplication of identity verifications will the indian resident access various services this eid will be integrated into the all e services that could be added this architectural style implicitly recognizes that fact that all the compounds would be have a phenomenal growth and one cannot afford to lose sight to providing useful and usable services on demand while retaining non duplicating basics identity of indian resident however the architecture does not display the layering of component and competent and the relationship to maintain coherence to sustain the demand there is thus an opportunity to include these aspect of architectural style a layered approach to the architectural style of such as a project having enormous identified data manager complexities could be proposed to better alternative examination of the proposed architecture through layered approach indicates inadequate explanation of coronant relationship among core network distributions and access layers a core layers aims to policy issues and other layers take the instructions of services to distributed architectural treatment would be ensured that such policies are distributed and implemented through well networked and distributed layers network and distribution layers aim to provide the domain specific services can be joined the network as 
and when they are ready to will ensuring the core process instruction or will reflected their process access layer is the most fundamental layer where the transaction take a place and services actually de- delivered in association with the distribution layer in india access the distribution layers which need to contribute contribution the most of to create digital opportunity and digital inclusions or the latest uh, a lowest and entitled this digital dividend in term of providing services on demand so there is no dreet of supply driven services like pan driving license railway reservations public distribution systems and online banking but there is a need to relook at these services mostly is the access layer available or interlaced and accepted by the indian resident our experience in exceeding these projects providing the right opportunity to add at value it is not difficult to appropriate the technology penetration does not mean technology adaptation nor does it indicate technology usefulness leading to its actual use therefore eid projects rectech had provided as an opportunity to consider the importance of access layer where transaction and identify with the automatically and demand is created for all unified services to have a sustainable use technologies intensive e services most importantly this number 1 and architecturally style need to ensure that core layer really understands validate and empower the way of the access layer simply provide the services of course on demand to indian residents uid project has provided another opportunity to leverage on the learning acquired learning exuses of e services projects in india and elsewhere and to do be added value to this e service structures sir can you consciously conclude uid aims to providing choice to indian residents for having service on demand establishing audit trials of services being rendered in line to with right of information and right to information mandates and granting equitable access to resident in india but this will be possible only when we collaboratively agree to agree in a democratic process it is a matter of time now to see whether uid project would deliver the right kind of ambitions in which all these e services provided to editing agency would be able to collaborate the authenticate all transaction through uid and other services centric identification uid also should be not added to the digital overhead which indian resident is carrying through the various identification process pan number driving license and her voter id card etc all the the not withstanding everything seems to be in favor of the uid project stenkane and of course for the whole nation but let's hope we do not create historic by having another titanic ship on its boy born voyage thanking you the references technical architecture of uid uida working paper version 11 biometric design standards for uid applications uida working papers 1.0 technology features and digital inclusion research report communities and local government publication uk october 2008 uid official website with url uidgovernment.in accessed 114 2010 thank you once again to mr harkas and misra and char person the chairman nandan kanis and our other 
the specter thank you once again thank you so much for listening let's submit